Hi everybody and welcome to I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel and welcome to Traveling with Russell. And today we've got a new video for you. This is actually going to be a kind of walk around but of the cruise terminal in Progreso, Mexico. So we're going to take you basically from the gangway of the ship. We're going to walk off. We're going to walk around the cruise terminal and then we're going to head on the bus to the downtown area. Uh, so this is basically going to be a, kind of just a general walk around get you an idea of the space, the place, the location, uh, what you can see when you get right off the ship, and how simple it is to head onto the bus and go to the Progresso downtown area. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut to the video, and most of the video I'm actually gonna do a voiceover because I didn't film uh, me talking during the video. So it's gonna be basically a voiceover just talking you through the method of getting off the ship and going to downtown. Okay, come along with me to check out the cruise terminal in Progreso, Mexico. Okay, let's go. So we're going to start off the video here on the gangway. Uh, this is actually deck zero on this particular ship, but it will vary on different ships. So you'll see there the elevators going down. Uh, then you, it basically, you'll see people just hanging about here. They're probably waiting for friends to come and meet them at the gangway. It's uh, pretty easy. The elevator comes right out there, and then you kind of look around to see where the gangway is. You'll see it right ahead of us. Uh, somebody getting off in a wheelchair there as well. Uh, we pretty much come right out to the dock, so it's pretty easy uh, to go down the gangway. And you'll see the water right there, of course. We're going to head to the left. And so this is actually the longest pier in the world, or uh, cruise dock in the world. It's actually four miles, or six and a half kilometers. Uh, so it's, it's a long pier. So you can't actually walk to town from here. You have to take a bus which we'll see later on. Uh, you'll see also there's a little uh, kind of a waiting area there if you like. Uh, this is a sort of early on in the morning, so it's, uh, they're still setting up, you can see. And then the photographer's right there as usual. As you get off the ship, you can get a nice photograph and uh, get a kind of keepsake of your cruise. It has the name of the port and then the date on there as well. You actually see one of the uh, Mexican, I guess, uh, Navy ships there on the left. And then on the right there is uh, a couple of tugboats. So commercial and uh, kind of cargo ships come here as well. Uh, cruise ships, there's only about three or four ships docked per week. So it's not a very busy port. Uh, it is a bit of a distance from the ship to the port. Well, to get to Progresso itself, you'll see in the video. Uh, basically from walking off the ship to downtown, it's about a 20 minute sort of trip if you were to basically walk off, not stop at the shops. Uh, and not sort of stop and literally get on the bus and go once it's full. Uh, you can just kind of casually walk along here, stop for a photo. Actually, you'll see we'll spin around in a minute and get a nice photo of the ship. This is the uh, duty-free shop right here. We'll walk through here. And this is actually the meeting point for the shore excursions as well. So if you're going to uh, book a tour, you'll basically walk out to the end here. A lot of them say meet on the pier. And this is the spot where you'll meet uh, right here. You'll see some people stopping for a photo there. Progresso Yucatan. So it's basically on the Yucatan Peninsula, you know, which is kind of the area where the port actually is. And then uh, you'll see a few of the sort of uh, tour guides here waiting for the tours to come off because it's a little bit early. And some people hanging around already who might have got off straight away and waiting for the tours to depart. And then if you look back now, there's a nice sort of shot of the ship right there. Take a nice photo. So for anybody who might be a, a ship spotter or not, that's actually the Carnival Triumph, which is now Carnival Sunrise. It was actually remodeled in uh, Cadiz, Spain. So this is actually a little bit of an older video now, I guess. So depending on when you're watching it, uh, that's the Carnival Triumph in the video. And here we are. We're going to walk through this uh, duty-free shop. So yeah, I hope you kind of like this walk around. It's a little bit narrated because it was a lot very windy when I walked off the pier. And I didn't actually do the voiceover as I walked, so I'm doing this a little bit later on. Uh, this is actually a really nice duty-free shop. There's a lot of tequila in here. So if you are a tequila fan uh, or you want a sort of souvenir of your stop in Mexico, uh, they've got lots and lots of tequilas. There's also some perfume there, and then you're going to see some more, um, some more Mexican souvenirs, I guess. There's some tequila right in front of us right there. Uh, that's Herradura there, that square bottle, which is a very popular tequila with Mexicans. Mexicans don't drink Patron. It's kind of one of the big myths. Um, you see all the perfume right there. There's some sunglasses. Really check the prices on board and then check the ports and see what you might like. 
Uh, actually, more duty free here. Sorry, I, did, I thought it was perfume. This is unedited, so I'm not going to go back and make it over again. I do it all in one go. Um, yeah, a lot of the uh, non tequila products you can buy on board, generally cheaper. Also, just take note the cigarettes aren't American made in the port, they're actually generally from Switzerland. A little bit of a thing here this lady's doing uh, liquor tasting. She's got lots of Patron boxes, but none of the liquor she's selling or pr promoting is Patron. But she's using the boxes to kind of get people over there. And she's selling some other brands. So these souvenirs in this shop are probably a little more expensive than they are on the street or at the flea markets. But obviously, if you've got nowhere else to shop and you walked off and walking on, or it's last minute, you kind of get what you get right here. So uh, I mean, a lot of people kind of tend to buy on the way back. And it's also a little bit more crowded on the way back. On the way off, it's obviously much quieter. Uh, so this is actually walking out into the cruise terminal area. Uh, there's actually some flea market stalls right here. There is actually a kind of, I call these dollar beer bars, but they're probably not a dollar for beer anymore. But if you want to stop for a drink, there's some, actually some food as well, some light snacks. A uh, good spot there to have a beer or have, a, I guess, a margarita. Have a Corona. Uh, you'll see some people just chilling out there. There is a pool, but there's very rarely anybody in this swimming pool. It's always empty. But it's actually a really great spot because you can look back on the ship. And even if you just got off and walked around the terminal and then wanted just to chill for a while and get back on the ship a little bit earlier, uh, you can probably see the ship again. Yeah, there we go. We can see the ship right there. And then there's that big Yucatan sign there on the bottom right. You can go get a nice photograph. Yeah, we're just swinging around here. There's not too many people here because this is kind of earlier in the morning as the ship arrived. So a lot of people haven't got off the ship yet. I guess a lot of people aren't ready for beer and margaritas early in the morning. So, And then here on the left, there's actually always people selling your hats and sunglasses. So if it's your first stop or you've just got off the ship, they always realize if you haven't got a hat on your head, they'll try and sell you one. Or if you haven't got sunglasses, they'll try and sell you some sunglasses. When I had the camera here, they don't tend to bother me as much. But if I walk without the camera, they kind of jump all over you. So this is the first shop. I didn't walk any, in any of these shops, just sort of peered in. But lots of t-shirts, lots of Mexican, of course, Mexican arts and crafts. Uh, a little bit nicer than sort of flea market kind of stuff, but lots of cheap stuff, a lot of, you know, uh, usual souvenirs. Uh, you can always get maracas, $1 maracas. Roger's Boots right there, which is actually a shop also in Cozumel. And we'll probably swing past that again. I didn't watch this ahead of time. So they've got lots of uh, kind of cowboy boots and cowboy hats and leather belts and things like that in this shop. It's actually very well known in Cozumel, Roger's Boots. So a lot of people like to go shopping there at the Cozumel shop. The Progresso one's a little bit quieter because people probably don't expect to see this shop. So, uh, also, some, this shop here has some vanilla. I think that lady's looking at vanilla right there. So, if you need vanilla, you can get uh, vanilla. <laughs> yeah, there's a little sign there pointing you to go which way to go to the buses. There's another little, another little bar here with some cool drinks. So, if you just want to have a drink and just hang out, you can do that. Most people do this on the way back. On the way back through, it's always much more crowded. And here you'll see a few silver shops on the left and right as well. So if you like silver shopping, silver is very famous in Mexico as a metal. It's not all about diamonds and tanzanite as you always hear on the ship. Silver is their main thing or their main uh, jewelry, if you like. So, and if they're weighing it, it's generally by a spot price of silver. That's how they generally quote the price to. They won't generally have price tags on a lot of the silver in the stores. They'll put it on scales. And these are all the vendors of the shops. It's a little bit quiet, of course, because it's early morning. So there's not too many people around. That's why they're all just hanging out and chilling. Uh, you'll see some more vanilla there. Mexican blankets are very popular. And then just around the corner here, we'll come to the bus station and I'll sort of cut in and do my little bit. So we're in the last couple of shops here. Most of the vendors realize when you're walking off, you're going to come back and shop on the way. So they don't bother you as much. Kind of really big sun flare right there. Did you see that? There's those cowboy hats and Mexican sombreros there as well. So you've got a lot of shopping here, which a lot of people don't realize in Progresso. There's a lot of shopping on the pier. And then we're going to swing around here. And then the bus stops to go to town are just ahead under this next kind of uh, walkway, I guess. There's a couple of little sort of flea market shops again here on the right. Uh, most of these guys will always jump on you on the way back. So they'll realize you're just heading off now. And then we're going to come up to the bus stop you can probably just see the buses just ahead there. I'm going to jump in now and sort of talk about that. There's one silver shop right here. 
Um, yeah, and then you'll see the signs. Then there's a little booth here. And there's actually public taxis on the right-hand side. It keeps pointing out which way to go to the buses. These are all free by the buses. are complimentary. There's no charge. You jump on them and off you go. And you just walk there to the left. And I'm going to let jump in and take over now, okay? Okay, so we've walked through the shopping area. And we're now here at the parking lot, which is right here where we're going to catch the bus to the downtown. See some nice big signs, and then the buses are parked up. One thing that'll be kind of noticeable when you come off is there's an information booth here, which generally wants to uh, push you towards getting paid taxis or going on tours. Of course, uh, you can't walk to the town from when you get off the pier. You have to take the bus. So basically, we're going to walk right over here to the Auto Progresso tours. And this is the free bus to downtown, so it's very easy to just jump on. It's going to take about 10 or 12 minutes to get to town. And we'll be right there in the center of Progresso. Okay, let's go. So we're going to head on now uh, to the bus right here. Uh, you'll see the signs here just pointing you again which way to go. So these buses pull up and then leave about every 5 or 10 minutes, depending on how many people are on them or if they're full. Uh, there's a few people on here before I step on. Uh, these guys are the drivers right here. They'll greet you and jump on. It's up to you basically on the way there or back if you want to tip the drivers. You'll see some people putting a dollar in here or there, that little green container, and off we go. So basically these are old, I kind of consider them old school buses, kind of really Mexican style buses. They're not generally air conditioned and they're a bit rickety and they're not very good shock absorbers on them. And then we're going to turn right here and then this is the really long pier. So they say it's... Uh, what is it, four and a half miles or six kilometers, sort of between, I guess, where the ship is and getting off the pier. We've done a lot of remodeling of this uh, in the last year or two. And all these concrete blocks are kind of creating kind of a, I guess, a seawall on the left-hand side. There is thousands of these uh, concrete blocks. So somebody must have made a bunch of money selling them to the company. Now, I'm looking out the back window here. You'll see the ship right in the background there. That's why the colors change. It must have had like a like a UV filter on the back window or something, and I swing back around now. Uh, there's some people on the bus. It wasn't very full, this bus, because people really hadn't got off, as I kind of explained a couple of times. So yeah, we're gonna head off now and get closer to town. So here we are now at the bus station. Uh, that took around about seven or eight minutes. It's really not that long, maybe 10 at the most. Uh, there's not really too much traffic at all. Uh, just stepping off here, these ladies right here sell uh, little excursions around the town for about $10 or so if you want to take a little kind of historical tour. And then this is actually the public bus station as well. So if you wanted to get tickets to go to Merida, if you get off early enough, you can get there and back and do a day trip there. And then actually, if you look on the left here, uh, you'll see some people sitting down. These are crew members who have figured out this free Wi-Fi in the bus station. Uh, I think it's like Auto Progresso, the website, to get free Wi-Fi. And then uh, there's some uh, flea market shops again. This is sort of the downtown area now, so there's a little bit more tourists who have come in from uh, Merida and different places. And then just off to the left or right of where we walk out here is the uh, way to get to the beach. Now this is the line coming back on the bus now, so this is a little bit later on, and yeah. Okay, what do you think of the video? Was it kind of interesting? Of course, uh, if you're watching right to the end, uh, thanks very much. Uh, if uh, you haven't watched any of my videos before, you know they're going to be quite in-depth, and there's going to be lots of information, uh, quite detailed about the whole start to end of the video. So I hope you liked it. Uh, Progreso Mexico is somewhere that a lot of people maybe haven't been before. And maybe some people are a bit daunted by getting off the ship and the distance from getting off the ship to go into downtown. Of course, this is basically just detailing all that information for you. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, thanks for watching the channel I Like Cruise Ships, Traveling with Russell. I uh, hope you like this video. If you aren't a subscriber, uh, by all means, click that subscribe button. Uh, you'll be able to get new videos as they come uh, online. I upload them. Uh, you can click the notification bell to, be the, to get that latest video. And if you maybe like the video, give it a thumbs up. Pretty easy to do that. Click the thumbs up button. Uh, and then if you maybe want to post a comment or give me some extra information that I might have missed, that'll be great. Also, you could share this into your favorite uh, cruise group that you may have 
or into some other social media platforms. Thanks for watching I Like Cruise Ships, the YouTube channel, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a good time in Progresso when you get there on your cruise. Okay, bye everybody. Bye.